The cinematic platformer genre seems to be getting a bit of a resurgence lately. A group of independent developers have came together to show just how creative you can get with the genre with their release, The Eternal Castle Remastered. Its approach to marketing itself is also impressive as it boasts that it is a remastered of a game from 1987, which doesn't actually exist. However, it feels like it came right out of the era and looks great on Switch, outside of a few technical bugs. <laughs> The Eternal Castle Remastered is set in a time where humans had to evacuate Earth after a series of wars with a cybernet enemy. The last of the remaining colonization ships have nearly depleted all of their resources and so they've sent scavenger units back to Earth to gather materials. However, one group never made it back and players assume the role of Adam or Eve to begin their quest to find the lost unit. The story is delivered in the very beginning and then in small bits from NPCs encountered. However, the game relies heavily on the environment to tell the story of what happened to the Earth. Although the graphical fidelity of the game mimics what you'd see on the Atari, the developer did a great job of making sense of where you are in the world. There are four main areas to visit that each acts as a piece to the overarching narrative. Each area visited has a different theme that puts player's skills to the test. Unlike other cinematic platformers, the Eternal Castle is rather forgiving with the fall height and the amount of damage that you can take. It also hosts a series of weapons that can be picked up and used against other enemies. The game also features a melee attack that I found to be more useful than the guns at times. However, that doesn't mean that the game lacks insta-death traps that the genre is known for. Luckily, there are plenty of checkpoints available during each level. Stages require players to make their way to a power source guarded by a boss to attach to their broken ship. The levels aren't entirely linear, with each of them featuring branching paths and secret areas. The surprising thing about the Eternal Castle is how it introduces features that it didn't need, but definitely increases the replayability of it all. Throughout the adventure, you can pick up items that make you stealthier or stronger. This also changes the look of your character slightly. However, it's totally possible to just pass all these up on your quest to get to the end of the stage. Some of these items are well hidden, but it just means that after your first time through the game, there's reason to go back. The Eternal Castle is pretty short and after your initial playthrough, it's possible to complete it in under two hours. Movement in the game can be an issue as it retains that floaty cinematic platformer design. Playing the game on Switch, the developers seem to love using the vibration feature because it gets pretty insane on both Joy-Con and the Pro Controller. Attacking is also awkward with shots from the gun, never really hitting their target. Still, it fits the overall tone of the game and adds another layer of difficulty outside of navigating the harsh environments. Bosses in the Eternal Castle are each unique, but I felt that the developer could have used them to tie into the story a little better. Most of the time you simply walk into a room and fight, there's no lead in or explanation which makes it tougher to understand who you're fighting in the first place. I also found the bosses to be a little easier than some of the actual stages since the dodge roll mechanic is so useful. However, there's also a stamina meter that exhausts after attacks and actions, so that usually plays a more significant role in the difficulty of the boss. The Eternal Castle on Switch sadly has its share of technical bugs. There were moments where I would randomly climb up a wall that I wasn't supposed to and die, climb through walls, or get stuck inside of a wall. It happened too often to overlook and had me always waiting for the next time I would have to restart the game after a glitch. There's also a music glitch where the background ambience would cut out randomly. Puzzles are also present in the Eternal Castle, but they aren't used nearly enough to warrant even being in the game. There was one puzzle where you had to enter a series of symbols into the computer, but this came after several stages absent of puzzles, so I wasn't even ready to encounter something like this. Still, I can't look past how genuinely gorgeous the game is and how creative the team got with piecing together these unique settings. The Eternal Castle Remastered is a fun cinematic platform that sparks imagination and frustration as you make your way through the minimalistic levels. The developers have taken the genre and made it their own by implementing more action-centric elements and branching paths. The Switch version sadly has a few bugs that will send you to an early death, but that didn't stop me from wanting to see this mission through until the end. Noisy Pixels giving the Eternal Castle Remastered a 7.5 out of 10. Thank you for watching. Please read the full review at noisypixel.net. Noisy Pixels run by a group of gamers who work hard to deliver news, reviews, previews, and more. Please subscribe to keep up with all our future content.